the top public school for engineering and research in the country, according to Times Higher Education. A school dedicated to public service. The UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science will celebrate 70 years of innovation in 2015. Each year, we train more than 5,000 engineers. Our roster of 164 full-time faculty is the largest in our history. UCLA Engineering is home to the educators and innovators who are taking on the challenges of today and tomorrow. In 2014, the school opened major new research centers. Computer science professor Amit Sahai launched the Center for Encrypted Functionalities. The center, which won a $5 million grant from the National Science Foundation, will develop advanced encryption technology based on Sahai's work in program obfuscation. And electrical engineering professor Kang Wang was named co-director of the Center for Excellence in Green Nanotechnologies, which is exploring new methods and materials for creating and storing energy. The center received $11 million from the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology. Alum B. John Garrick founded the Garrick Institute for the Risk Sciences at UCLA. The center will play a vital role in national security and industrial safety. The gift from Amelia and John Garrick stands out among the 9,000 donations, large and small, offered to the engineering school during the centennial campaign for UCLA the ongoing effort to prepare the university for its second century of achievement. Engineering 6, the school's anchor for innovation, is rising in the heart of campus. When it is done in 2017, the school will have added more than 250,000 square feet of teaching and research space in a 10-year span. In 2014, our students and researchers received numerous awards and honors and gained widespread recognition for their outstanding work. As a result, UCLA Engineering continues to be ranked among the best in the world. This year, UCLA Engineering accelerated its work in the field of robotics. Three acclaimed researchers joined the school, complementing researchers with expertise in related areas, including computer vision and graphics, artificial intelligence, manufacturing and design. Associate Professor Veronica Santos is focused on making artificial hands more deft and sensitive. Santos's biomechatronic prosthetics will give those who have lost use of a hand the chance to function at the highest level. It's a lot of fun because as engineers we like to build and we can create things that have never been created before that can sense, think, act and use them as tools to improve quality of life. Santos is developing technology and algorithms to give the devices reflex-like capabilities. I think that's where the future is, is really taking the robots out into unstructured environments where they have to learn and adapt and understand context. Professor Jacob Rosen's robots perform surgery, allowing doctors to work via remote or complete challenging procedures more quickly and safely. Rosen's lab also develops wearable robotic exoskeletons that help stroke patients and others lift objects and recover from injury. A mantra that I inherited from my PhD advisor who once told me that whatever you do, you have to do something that will help at least one single individual. And I carry this uh, idea or uh, mantra in anything I, I do. In the coming years, a device developed in Rosen's lab will head into space to conduct surgery on animal subjects in zero gravity on the International Space Station. Professor Dennis Hong's robots will boldly go where no robot has gone before. Whether on wheels, legs, or in other configurations, devices developed by Hong's researchers perform functions such as ascending stairs and steep surfaces, where they are capable of conducting inspections and making repairs. I really want to emphasize hands-on, minds-on education. You'll learn a lot by doing experiments and building robots and operating them that you cannot learn from papers. Mimicking the movements and nervous system reactions of humans and other animals, these robots could someday play a wide variety of roles at work and at home. I have a dream. When I become a grandfather with my grandson, we're watching TV, and in the TV news, there's a burning building, and the robot goes there and rescues the people. And I wish I could say to my grandson, 
grandson. That's the robot that your grandfather developed at Romel at UCLA. And that would be cool. In addition to working with today's undergraduates and graduate students, faculty and staff are developing tomorrow's engineers through outreach programs designed to inspire young minds and bring more diversity to the field. The school's engineering science core stimulates the interest of high school students in engineering and related fields, giving them hands-on opportunities to put their passion and knowledge to work. You get to see students who know nothing about engineering at the beginning become really enthusiastic about it as it goes forward. More than 30 years ago, the school launched the Center for Excellence in Engineering and Diversity, which has supported thousands of students as they've worked toward their engineering degrees. From financial aid and academic counseling to presentations highlighting research breakthroughs. We want to produce diverse, highly innovative leaders for California's diverse technical population. SEED has made UCLA Engineering a national leader in retention and graduation of students from underrepresented backgrounds. I think one thing SEED did for me was to make UCLA home. There is nothing that SEED does not provide for me. SEED showed me all the different opportunities UCLA has for us. They were kind of like a big part of me deciding to come to UCLA. The UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science. 70 years of innovation. We are only getting started.